Good guys, what's up, what's good? Gorilla Bear Tech back to you guys again with another Traxxas Stampede four-wheel drive brushless electric monster truck. Did I say monster truck already? On 2S LiPo. And I am running at a different location. It's actually a nearby church over by my place. And it's a nice little parking lot. And on 2S, this thing can be about 38.5 to about 40 miles max. If I'm really pushing, it'll do 40, maybe even 41. I don't really know exactly what it'll do on 2S. Like I said, I gotta still swap out those internal front rear diff gears and uh, put in the faster ones that the uh, Stampede 4x4 VXL comes with, you know, the four-wheel drive version of VXL Bologna. So it's a nice sunny day. It's starting to get a little, uh, starting to get a little shady because you know it's it's approaching nighttime and uh, like I said, we're gonna get this run going. And you can see I took the lid off of it, the Lexus shell. But uh, we're going to do a little 2S run, just have some fun in the parking lot, nothing too fast. You know, I'm just going to you know, do some jumps on these curves. And maybe climb up the sidewalk, maybe just go up and down right here. So, enjoy this guy's doing his 20 tooth penny and 54 spur. Having a little too much fun, guys. And like I said, it is it is pretty damn fast even on two us. So it it's a great speed. And this thing handles jumps really, really well with these wheels, especially. These stock wheels are really, really good wheels, guys. It's a minor traffic here, but it's not a big problem. People around here are pretty peaceful. I've not had anybody here to teach some that I can't play with my cars here. I actually came out here one time with one of my buddies, and uh, we had a great time. I actually brought my, uh, my Traxxas 5 tool drive at the time that I just sold. With the 3000 KV, I brought it here, and I was running it on 3S. And um, out of black. Out of black. Yellow jump over there. So I'll be kind of jumping off of it here and there, just having some fun. Once again, these are the stock wheels. Oh snap. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing some jump. I know you can't see it, but you only see what's going on right here. There's a, uh, a 
know, there's some yellow, uh, you know, those speed bumps that you get in the roadway times and parking lots and stuff. I mean, you know, with real cars, you can only go over them at like, you know, five to ten miles an hour. Otherwise, you're gonna bust something. But you know, with my RC monster truck, I can actually jump over it at like, you know, 15 or 20. It ain't gonna be a problem for the handle. This truck is amazing, guys. I love it. It's a, it's a great basher. It's great for bashing and it's great for speed. I mean, it's made more to bash, but... Yeah, it handles speed well. Really well. Yeah. Now, I am going to keep these... Uh, I, ain't gonna keep, I am going to keep these stock wheels. But... I'm gonna be buying some pro line wheels or you know something a little different. You know, maybe something else like dirt tracks, I'm not sure yet, but I am gonna get some aftermarket wheels for it. You know, maybe more than likely I'm gonna get a uh, set of stock talent wheels for it. But... Yeah, it's an awesome monster truck guys, it really is to blast. Tons of fun man. And it handles jumps like like nobody's business. I mean, it's amazing how it goes over speed bumps. That's an awesome jumper, guys. I mean, it's incredible when it comes to jumping this thing. See what the motor tank is like. Oh, wow, it's pretty hot. Okay, I should have brought, should have brought my uh, my temp gun. I should have brought it, but I didn't bring it, unfortunately. But I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, guys, and let you see what it looks like. This is basically what it looks like. It's an awesome truck, guys. It's an awesome monster truck. A 110 scale brushless monster truck. I mean, it's phenomenal. Don't get me wrong, it's phenomenal. It's just not giving me the speed that I want, even on 3S. You know, on 3S, it's, I think it maxes out around 48 miles an hour, 47.5, 48 or something. You know, it's, uh, it's quick, but of course, it's more than how I am. You know, 48 to, uh, to 53 miles an hour with the monster truck on 3S is. Uh, it's decently fast. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, that's, that's super quick for a lot of RC cars. But for me specifically, you know, going 55 to 72 miles per hour, you know, it's really, you know, it's really, I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong, it is super fun still. But it's not as fun as doing 60 plus, you know, like going 62, 63, 65. And once I swap out those front and rear internal uh, gears and the diffs, I'm automatically going to be bumped up from, you know, 48 to 50 miles an hour all the way up to, well, I don't know if this is even doing 50. I don't think it can do 50. It maxes out about 47.5, 48 ish. But um, it's close to 50, pretty good on 3S. The thing is, these wheels cannot handle those kind of speeds. I mean, it'll have a lot more rollover, it'll be a lot more unstable on 3S. And trust me, I say this because I've tried it, guys. This truck is not the best on 3S. Unless, of course, I have some Traxxas Talon Stampede wheels that the VXL version come with. Or I have something like a Pro-Line, you know, something good. So, something really good. But yeah, these wheels are not good for... Honestly, these wheels are not even good for 45, 46 miles an hour. They're okay for 45 to 46, 47 inch. 
you know, 48 and up, they're not that great. I'll say 50 and up, they won't be that great. Start around 50 to 51. Like I said, it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. You know, the sun's starting to go down little by little. And I'm just having fun out here at this church by my house. With nice people, nice parking lot. You know, nobody really bugs you here. I haven't had anybody come up to me and tell me I can't run my monster truck here. You know? I just decided, hey, I'm gonna get out the uh, get out the house and come here today and do a little two us run for you guys instead of doing out front. Out front of my place, you know. I got home. Got some decent traffic, but not that much. Like I said, nice sunny afternoon. I want to make a video for you guys, so just wanted to get out for a little bit. Enjoy the Sunday. Got a little pigeon right there, but I'm not gonna hit him. Pigeon scrammed as soon as I saw my monster truck. Anyway, guys, hopefully you guys are having a great day. I hope every one of my supporters, subscribers, that is, is having a wonderful day. It's not about negativity today, guys. It's Sunday. It's, you know, it's, it's about God. It's about Jesus Christ. You know, I'm just out here having a great time, guys. You know, with a lot of the outer negativity in my life currently. Yeah, because you know how it is, guys. You know, a lot of people are just... I know I'm rambling off, guys. And, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just letting it cool down, but... There are a lot of negative people in the world. You know, like parents and you know, people you come across in general. You know, so you got to find that sweet spot in your life. you got to find the good things in life and enjoy them, you know what I mean? But I try my best with you guys. It's hard for me sometimes, you know? It's really hard for me at times. Don't get me wrong, guys. These monster truck CFP tires, these 110 scale talons, or no, these aren't talons, I'm sorry. I don't know what these are called. I think they're called sports Let me check real quick. Um, I got a Gen Z's 5000 milliamp 50C rated 7.4 volt lipo battery. Right? Okay, just have to let you guys know. These are the Traxxas. Oh yeah, they're like the Emax style tire. They're the, they're the Traxxas Max. I believe it says 2.8. So they're the Traxxas Max. Basically, just a smaller version of the Emax. This is like basically the Emax's little brother, you know? So. Well, 10 scale goes fast. I mean, I've, I've seen people do 100 and something miles an hour with these cars. So, this, this ain't a joke. I'm still letting it cool. Like I said, I'm just having a great time here. people waving at me and I got some very nice courteous kind people driving by. They're not driving by to give me uh, to give me crap, so that's good. You know guys like I said, you really have to balance out life and try, try to establish some kind of balance between negative and positive. You know, you can't be living on one side the entire time, especially if it's negativity. I mean negativity is the worst, you know? And I'm not trying to sound like a hypocrite. Yes I've been a hypocrite. You know, I uh, <laughs> I haven't been, you know, the guy to make the smartest decisions in the world, but at the same time, you know, it is what it is, you know, it's life, and we got to lift through it and roll with the punches at times, you know, some of us can't handle it, and we don't want to, you know, I'm not saying I can't handle it, I certainly can handle it, I've handled a lot of negativity, I've taken a lot of jabs and a lot of haymakers and uppercuts, and I'm saying mentally I have, not physically, and, uh, you guys know how that is, you know what I mean? You guys know how it is. I just wanted to come out here today and have some fun with you guys, you know? Put this on video. I didn't have to. This is 
This is, you know, basically a bonus video. It's not really an actual speedrun, as you can tell. It's not a speedrun. So I'm probably going to title this video, you know, Tracks This Stampede Bash. You know, Parking Lot Bash. We'll see what I'm going to title it, but I just wanted to do something other than the speedruns I was doing all the time. And I'm not saying speedruns get boring. They're not boring. They're very fun. They're a lot funner than this, but I just want to switch it up a little bit and throw out, you know, somewhat of a somewhat of a speedrun video. I mean, technically to you guys it's still speedrun because I am doing speedruns through here, but it's not super, super fast. It's, it's a little fast. And I'm just, you know, jumping the, uh, the yellow, uh, I wouldn't call it the diamond, but it's the, uh, the yellow uh, parking lot bump. And it's pretty high up, guys. I don't know how high up they go. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know the exact name of them. It's definitely not a divider, so I'm not going to call it a divider. But as you can see here, there's uh, parking spaces. You know, there's curbs and uh, you know, those little things in the street. I don't know what they call these, the cement blocks. Uh, if, you guys, if you guys know what they are, let me know. Comment down below. <laughs> I don't know what they call these, but, you know, they're basically there just to prevent your car from going too far in. Otherwise, it'll cause some damage to your front bumper. Anyways. Sorry, guys. I know I've been on, on a rant just ranting and ranting for you guys. I'm just letting this motor cool, alright? Sorry if this video is extremely boring to you. We have standard, we have standard seats. That's me going over there. While you're at your computer desk or wherever you are, you know, I do apologize. I figured I'll put out something a little bit different, you know. As you can see, there's a wheelie bar right there. And, like I said, the 7 point Volvo LiPo. Shout out to my boy Tom Trax. Shout out to my boy Mr. High Power, also in the speedrun game. Now well, Tom Trax is kind of like a hybrid between speedrunning and bashing, from, from what I see. So shout out to you, Tom. Uh, you know I comment on your videos, bro. I like your stuff, man. Really good stuff. I think you're Hawaiian, by the way. Or by the way, I think you're Hawaiian. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're a Filipino or Samoan. I'm not sure nationalities are. I always thought you were a white guy because you sound white. But when I saw you on video, man, I was like, oh damn, this guy's not white. Shout out to you, Cat. Shout out to uh, Amazing RC Brian. You're the man who, my boy, prepare yourself. He does a lot of uh, videos on the world and like Illuminati and stuff like that. NWO, you know, New World Order. So go check him out. If you guys like all capitalized letters, prepare yourself. There's a space between the word prepare and then yourself. Okay, and it's spelled exactly the way it's supposed to be spelled. So. We got some cute grills over there. Uh, motor seems pretty cool.
telling you guys, if you can see what's going on on the other end, it's amazing. These tires are pretty grippy, but you know what? These wheels are not made for the road at all. They're not made for the road too much. Maybe a little bit, but they don't have the best grip on not as good. These are not on-road wheels at all. These are strictly off-road, bashing, mudding, dirt, climbing wheels. They're not made for the road at all, really. But I'm working with what I got right now, guys, because, you know, some of us, we're not, uh, we're not the richest people in the world, so we can't just go and grab this and grab that and get what we want all the time. Sometimes you got to work with what you got, so, and that's what I do. You know, because I do have a normal life like other people. I do work. And um, I do make money off my channel. So, and I do get a lot of income off my YouTube channel. A substantial amount. Pretty good amount. And uh, that's my own business. Not for you guys to know how much I make. But I make a pretty decent amount. I get some decent coins from YouTube. And, you know, from the job that I work. So, yeah, folks, just came out here. I can smell somebody having a barbecue not too far from over here somewhere in the neighborhood. But. You know, guys, just having fun, man. Just having fun. Today it's Sunday, and I'm out here doing a two-left lipo run with my Traxxas Stampede four-wheel drive brushless edition monster truck. And it's an incredible monster truck at that. I love the size of it. It's a good scale. It's got really good ground clearance, a really good chassis, a phenomenal chassis. I've actually heard that a lot of people say it looks a lot like a Rustler full wheel drive, which in a way it does. It's just a higher Rustler full wheel drive with, you know, with different wheels, you know, a different frame. Of course, it's not the same chassis as the Rustler. Entirely different, but it's similar. And um, I believe the Rustler full wheel drive is actually a little bit longer, guys. I'm not sure. I think someone's, I think on Trax's website, one time I went on the Trax's website, they had measurements, like when you, when you click on the specs and they compare different vehicles like slash two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, rustler four-wheel drive, rustler two-wheel drive. And they had the measurements. I just don't remember what all of them were, but I think this one's like, I don't know, 10 and a half, 11 inches long. Uh, the ground clearance is like 3.5, 4 inches. I think it's about 3 inches, though. 3 to 3 and a half. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I thought it was something interesting to look at. You know, that actually points out the scale at that time. Height, you know, pretty cool. Yeah, these don't have, they have grip, don't get me wrong, but they don't have the best grip as far as the wheels. These wheels are not horrible, they're not the best on pavement. I will say that. Like I said, I'm not sure if those gears. Those internal gears, not my pinion and spur, because that's already set up the way I want it for the speed. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these wheels for the talons or for something else, like Pro Line or, you know, perhaps something with slicks, something belted. I'm not sure. I'm going to have this thing going at least, at least 65 to 75 miles per hour at least. So be ready for that, guys. I think on those runs, I'm going to run it with the body on top speed. Stampedes are known to flip a lot. They're a lot like slash two-wheel drives with that high center gravity chassis. So they're, uh, they're known to pop a lot of wheelies, backflip, barrel roll, you know. That kind of cool stuff that a lot of people actually enjoy. And I enjoy it too. I get involved. It's fun to pop wheelies and throw off, guys. I still enjoy wheelies, you know. I like to have a little bit of power to do wheelies. So, for me, personally, I really enjoy wheelies. You know, but I do love top end more than anything. I love top end speed. Top end speed is where it's at for me.
some slight wind today as well, guys. It's not super windy, but it's partially windy. And I'll say, this ZTW V system that I have in it, 4,350 KV, rated at a max of 3 cell LiPo, it's amazing, guys. It really is. It's a pretty darn good system, but it, when it comes to the heat, it reminds me a lot of that Connexus 4000 KV that I have in my Traxxas Bandit, my buggy. It's a 110 scale system as well. And that's four pole. This one's also four pole as well. But this one's got a little bit more power than that one. Motor is probably between 130 and 137 degrees. It's actually not super hot. It's probably like 133, 132 right now. Just from the just from the feel, just from the touch alone, I could sense what it what it you know what it could possibly be. I'm simply just putting my finger on it. It's an incredible monster. I really like it. It's loads of fun. Loads of fun. And it jumps like no one's business. And it's amazing how great this thing can jump. And it handles pretty good for a monster truck of its size, guys. It really does. Handling isn't the worst, but it's not the best either. You know what I mean? It's not the best, but it ain't the worst either. It's in the middle. It's got some great handling. Yeah. Almost spun out. It's doing roughly 32 to 37 miles per hour here in this parking lot. On full throttle, if I let it sit on full throttle for a few seconds, it'll do about 35 to 37 and a half, 38 miles an hour. So it's doing, you know, a little less than 40. I don't think this thing can even max out 40 on 2 so. Actually, no, you know, I take that back, guys. I think, uh, what, what was the speed I did last time? Man, I could be wrong because, once again, it's hard for me to keep track of all my speeds. I don't write them all down on a piece of paper. And I just kind of go back and look at my videos to see where I'm at. But, uh, no, the last run, I believe, on 2S in front of my uh, in front of my place, I believe that was 39.6 miles per hour. On, I think it was on 2S. It could have been on 3S. No, no I think it was on 3S. But I was doing about 39.6. I basically did 40 miles an hour, but it, it can do more than that, guys. I've done 45 on 3S. Actually, I think it was like 46 miles an hour as well. I'm not entirely sure. Just go back and watch all the videos. They're not that old. They're just from like a week ago. But it's an incredible monster truck, guys. I love it. I like it as much as my other cars. I really do. But the only thing I don't like is these stock wheels. They're amazing. Don't get me wrong, but they're not for someone like me. Who runs on street? You know what I mean? Who runs on asphalt? They're not asphalt wheels. They don't have the best grip after 35 to 40 miles an hour. They're, it's very sloppy after 40 miles an hour. 
I mean, it, it wants to roll over. It wants to jerk one way, left or right, you know. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed these runs. And I hope you all had an amazing day. Amazing evening, wherever you live in the world, and you happen to be watching my videos. Thank you very much for tuning in. That's about it, guys. Gorilla Bay Tech is signing off. Peace, y'all.